What's up, YouTube? Um, I'm going to make a, a video um, that I probably made before. Um, actually, I know I, I know I made a video similar to this uh, um, when I first started my videos. My very first two videos were my my uh, graded books. Um, I showed all my uh, slab books. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually uh, going through uh, my, my you know organizing books and stuff like that. I'm starting to, and I figured as I go through the boxes, you know, I'm starting with my slab books first. Um, but as I go through the boxes, I figured I show them uh, off to the guys, you know, you know, uh, the you know, new new guys to the channel and stuff like that who haven't watched my previous videos and stuff. So uh, and plus, you know, hey, it's a reason to show them off again. You know, why not? Um, but uh, yeah, so I, I got two boxes right now here of of slab comics, and I'm just going to go through them. Um, these are in no order at all. They were just thrown in the box as I got them. So not thrown in, they were gently placed in the box. But, um, so I'm just gonna pull them out as I uh, grab them and I'll show you what I got. So, let's see what boxes I grabbed. Okay, this one here I got I got done at the, it's a sketch cover, and I got done at the Big Apple Comic Con. I wasn't very happy with the grade, but there's a reason for that. Um, so Justice League 16, I actually picked it up there. I didn't have a sketch cover with me. Um, well, I didn't have one that had anything to do with Aquaman. I wanted an Aquaman sketch originally by Ramona Freighton, but she wasn't doing sketches anymore. So I had Guy Dorian. I guess he really hasn't done uh, a lot, but he's been in the business for a while. But I thought it was pretty good. But when I bought this comic, it had this stamp, and it says New York Comic Con and all that stamp on it. You know, uh, and they hit him with a grade of 7.0. Um, CGC did so even though the book is near mint because of that stamp there they got it I, I got I, I took a pretty big hit I mean that's I, w I mean even with the stamp I wouldn't think it was going to be that big of a hit you know and I actually asked about this before and they didn't say that it would they didn't say it would and they just said they weren't sure which I think they should be you know people who are sitting at the tables taking books they should be knowledgeable of you know of stuff like this so I you know I, I know I've know I've thought about doing is saying it to CBCS and doing their art grade I guess they have a grade just for artwork like this um, where they don't give you a number grade it just says art so I thought about doing that because that's 7.0 kind of like eh, you know but yeah so it's pretty cool I'm happy with it on um, the artwork at least not the grade but you know what I'm, I don't plan to sell this stuff anyway this is stuff I got done myself personally and you know stuff I would keep so Oh, it looks like I'm hitting the Big Apple Comic Con stuff. Um, this is Black Live, uh, number one. I thought it was kind of cool um, just to have Rich Butler, uh, Buck, Rich Buckler sign it. So he did right here. Um, you know, I thought it would be different, you know. Um, you know, people have him sign stuff like, uh, what was it, uh, you know, um, that Destro, Deathlock, and stuff like that. But, you know, how many Black Life number ones are signed out there, you know? So, but a 9.2, I had two of these, and this was a nicer copy. So I uh, picked the one I thought was nicer, and, it, you know, I'm happy with the 9.2, signed by Rich Buckler. I think that's the only thing I had him sign, actually, if I remember right. So, let's see what the next one is. I know what some special things I got signed is this, this starting right here. Um, Death of Wolverine number one. This is the uh, Desert Winds comics um, one. I had Herb Trimp sign it. Trimp A, whatever you say his name. Um, Herb Trimp. But uh, yeah, 9.6. I was, you know, I wish it was a 9.8, but 9.6 I'm completely fine with. And just the fact that not too soon after this, he passed away. Um, to have him sign this was pretty cool. You know, was, uh, well, I'm going to keep this one up here. I think the next one's probably going to be. Yeah. Yeah, I think the next couple are going to be by him. Have him sign it too. Well, what the next one is at least. Okay, I got two books signed by him. This one's a pretty cool one now. Um, this is my G.I. Joe number one. It is only a 6.0. Um, of course, I really wish it would have been a higher grade, but um, I'm fine the way it is. You know, I'm 
completely fine with that and it's because of the signatures the herb trim I got uh, um, oh my god uh, Tom DeFalco I tried to try and think of his first name DeFalco um, he was like the editor or something um, and then down here I got Larry Hama which is pretty cool I got to meet him um, just very happy with that and of course you know I just realized that I think McLeod's going to be at the uh, New York Comic Con I know he was there last year um, so that, that, that would be cool to actually have him sign it maybe I would get it pulled out and regrade it and just have him add it well I don't know um, I wonder if a pressing would really help this that much I don't think it would though so I might just keep it in the slab but just to have those two books um, to have Herb Trim sign them um, not too soon before he passed away of course I wish I had my Hawk 181 then but you know I don't so I didn't I mean so maybe I won't take them out of the bag it's gonna be a pain in the ass to uh, <laughs> to uh, individually put them each in the bag again when they start showing I don't think I'll get one you know for all you people out there that are part of the uh, short video thing instead of long video um, you're probably gonna not like this video because I think it's gonna be pretty long because it's uh um it's two boxes of slabs but I can tell you just from a quick uh, perusal of them and what I have in my hand right now it's gonna be a good video some major keys and stuff so this is one of my earlier um, first number ones I bought um, you know some you know the major keys and stuff this is one of the, the one of the first ones I've, I bought when I first started collecting again a few years ago so it's actually my first Stan Lee signature too I bought it graded already um, and I actually paid I think it was 400 around there it was it was right around there not not it was it was around four it was between four and 450 something like that but I think that's completely fine with that pretty sure that's what it was unless I'm wrong but I'm pretty sure that's what it was <laughs> but a 4.0 uh, I could be wrong now um, I did buy it a few years ago so but Stanley signed it right here 4.0 daredevil number one um, and I'm happy with that don't need to upgrade a 4.0 is completely fine with me with that so next one is actually huh this is kind of a don't surprise the other one's not with this one but this is my Aquaman number two now these are some of the books I first got when I first started collecting um, which is I did a lot of PGX back then um, which I think there's, I never had a problem wrong, uh, with PGX and actually I had a number of books that I unslabbed and got regraded by CBCS or or CGC whatever um, either one and they've all come back at about the same grade either exactly the same or even I've had a couple books come back a little bit higher like from a 9.4 to a 9.6 so I mean, I have nothing wrong with PGX just for you guys out there who uh, are naysayers about it they're quick they're cheap and uh, I've had no problems but each their own the reason I don't use it anymore is because they're not at, at, at they're not at cons at least not on the East Coast I guess they go to some cons on the West Coast but they don't travel so um, and I get a lot of books signed nowadays, so um, yeah, so now I use CBCS, which is similar to price um, Just just not really much difference in price, but yeah, so enough about my uh, trade there um, Aquaman number two 7.5 I got this before all the prices were shooting up. Um, I actually didn't pay much for this at all I think maybe $15 $20 at the most so 7.5 Aquaman number two. I got this when I got my with another one too. So that's cool. Oh, there you go. This is a more recent one. I picked this up on eBay already slabbed. Um, and then within the last six months. This is my House of Secrets 92. First appearance of Swamp Thing. Um, of course Bernie Wrightson and Len Wine and uh, Vigil Noir stories. But 7.0 PGX and it looks pretty good too so I'm happy with that um, I don't think it's any less I don't think it's any more I think it's exactly right <laughs> but okay 
uh, me and Jimmy C have had a, a argument before about this about PGX and stuff, and uh, I don't know. Uh, enough about that stuff, though. Um, what was I going to say about this? Um, oh, I have my uh, Swamp Thing number one. I recently just submitted it when I was at the Boston Comic Con. I didn't have anyone sign it or anything like that. I just submitted it, my uh, Swamp Thing number one, because on the inside cover, it has signatures by Bernie Wrightson and Len Wein. So, I have it doing the authenticate, like, you know, they're, they're going to authenticate the signatures, which they have already done, and they are authentic, and they're going to uh, slab them. So I just got to wait for that part to see what the grade is. You know, I'm hoping to get uh, at least an 8, 8, 5 on that. Uh, hey, if it comes back higher, it'll be great, but I don't think it will. I think 8, 8.5 is reasonable. Um, no, but I don't, I don't really care if it comes back less either. Um, just because it has those two signatures in there, it's awesome. And I actually had that book for a year, and I didn't realize the signatures are in there. I opened it up one day and decided to read it, and I saw on the front page, the front page, uh, splash page that there was no signatures there. So, but yeah, so here's my House of Secrets 92. Seven point out. I went tried forever to get this, and I finally got it. Um, and I'm not, I'm not gonna really talk about prices too much because I don't remember everything I paid for them. But I think this one here is around 300. So happy. Now this is one I bought. I can tell you how much I paid for it. I paid $150 for this book when it first came out, brand new. However, it was such a low print run. I don't know how many were actually made. I'll have to check it. But at the time, I think someone told me 400 were done. Um, and I was able to get Scott Snyder to sign it. And it came back at a 9.8. This is Superman Unchained, the lenticular cover. This is the... Uh, um, this was like an ex exclusive cover for like retailers or something. So people who went, I believe some, someone, people who went to like the DC conference or some kind of retailer thing. Um, but yeah, it's just, this is like probably one of the best 3D covers they've done. I think, I don't know if you guys can see it in the video, but it is so cool. But Scott Snyder signed it. I was, I went to the New York Comic Con last year and I was going to have it, I brought this with me. And I was going to have CGC on slab it. I was going to get Jim Lee to sign it, but unfortunately, Jim Lee, uh, it was just it didn't work out for me. I think Jim Lee wasn't there that day. The day I went, I went on a Friday. I can't remember exactly, but he's going to be there this year, I believe. So maybe I'll bring it again and try to get him to sign it. Okay, let's see what's next. Okay. Okay, here's one of my favorite books ever. It's because it's the book I, I've had since childhood. I, mean, I haven't had this one specifically, but it's one of the first books I read when I was a kid. Um, it's primer number two. It is a 6.5, and I definitely someday want to have it upgraded. Um, and I do want to... I've never met, met Matt Wagner, and I would love to have a signature by him um, on that book, upgraded book, hopefully. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. I think this book is really nice looking. I don't know why I got a 6.5. I wish I knew. Uh, but I had to create it myself. Um, well, maybe the back's a little dirty, but the black cover looks pretty nice. I mean, there's a little bit, but I don't know. 6.5 I think is a little low. But yeah, so I'm still happy. I only paid like 60 bucks for it um, back three years ago. This is one of the first books I bought when I first started collecting again. This is literally one of the first books I bought. Um, just because I, when I started again, I just wanted to get some of the stuff from my childhood. Um, which is why I started collecting again, just to nostalgia reasons. And uh, this was the my favorite book growing up. Um, so yeah, happy to have that. Okay, like I said, these are in no order at all. This is a Journey into Mystery 86, a very early, this is actually my earliest Thor, I think, um, book. Uh, of course, my number, I mean, one day I will have a uh, Journey Mystery 83. That is my number one goal, is to get that someday. And I'll tell you, uh, the day I bought my Amazing Spider-Man number one, right before I bought it, um, uh, well, that kind of just ruined things, but um, right before I bought it, I... Uh, I was bidding on an 83 and I uh, actually decided not to bid an extra 50 bucks and I could have got an 83 
for 1250 <laughs> so just because I didn't want to spend an extra 50 bucks I should have just done it uh, I regret it so bad it was probably around a three grade and which is you know pretty good for that 1250 but yeah so that's my early one I got this at my local I believe I paid a hundred bucks for this and because it was so nice 125 something like that and I got to grade it um, 6.0 so I'm happy with that it's a pretty high grade for an early journey mystery like that next one I'm just gonna throw them up here this is uh, I bought this slab already uh, Detective Comics 359 this is the first appearance of origin and first appearance of Batgirl so more Barbara Gordon um, I'm happy with that it's not that big of a deal to me I know it got a bunch of uh, the spines you know got tons of uh, stress marks but uh, I think it looks really good and I'm fine with the 3.0 on that so I don't remember how much I paid for it uh, this is one of my earlier books I bought too because when I started collecting again I got into Nick Cardi um, as you guys can see dude goes in my Nick Cardi sketch original sketch but uh, yeah because Aquaman is my favorite and um, one of my favorite characters besides Thor and you know they're equal footing but um, I started in the class I really got into the artwork of Nick Cardi so I started collecting his stuff and this was one of their first one of the earlier books I bought actually this is probably one of my you know when I first started and I collected Nick Cardi is one of the first ones um, but yeah I got this raw I only paid like I didn't pay much for it forty dollars and I graded it 6.0 I think it's pretty nice Good, no rhyme or reason. That's another one. I don't remember how much I paid for it. I know it was probably around, it was under 50 actually, I think. If I remember right. Uh, I have to go back and look at my old videos to see how much I paid for these things. This is a Captain America 100. Um, it came back at 5.0. Um, and I th one, one of the major reasons that is, is because of the writing. Someone went around with a pen and outlined Cap, you know, his shield, everything. So. But it does have some other issues, a couple of stress marks on the top and stuff, but 5.0, I'm fine with for the price I paid. Ooh. This is one of my, when I first started collecting, I started collecting the Submariner, and this was one of the first books I bought in that series. Um, I don't remember how much I paid, I think I paid 80 bucks for it at the time, or no, maybe 60. Um, but yeah, it's around there. And it came back at a 6.0, I got it graded. And if you see a PGX, most likely I, I'm the one that had it graded. Unless, you know, there's a couple, you know, just a handful of them that I bought that way. But most of these I got graded myself. So I think I did pretty good 6.0. I've since gotten another one. I just don't have it graded yet or anything. And I'm not sure. I just, you know, I see good prices and I pick things up now recently. This one I'm very happy with the grade. Um, I, I was definitely on a Submariner kick. Um, Iron Man Submariner. I didn't pay much at all for this book. I mean, I would, if I had a guess, probably 20 bucks if I remember. Um, and I got an 8.0. Very good with that. And you know, I know it's worth a lot more than that. So, And then this is my Iron Man number one. And I paid 250 for this, which is okay. Um, a 6.0 is okay. However, when I got it back, it said that right there. Very slight color touch, which I did not see. So this is something that um, I might upgrade someday. Uh, just because, you know, I don't have, I have this thing, of the restoration thing just really bothers me. Even though it doesn't, I, I could never tell you where it is. I actually went over this with a black light and I couldn't find anything, so uh, I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> so, I might have to that someday. Okay. Okay, now we're getting into the Walking Dead stuff. Hey, it looks like the rest of this box is Walking Dead. Okay. This is uh, Walking Dead number one. I think this is from the Philadelphia Comic Con. This is their exclusive and it's signed by uh, um, Julian Totino Tedesco. Okay, TT. 
looks kind of like a uh, whatever um, but yeah I didn't pay much for it I know this is like not really worth much either but a 9.8 I'm fine I'm happy to have it I'm definitely a Walking Dead collector so um, they have a whole new this year they have, they've gotten a whole new uh, bunch of uh, Walking Dead exclusives from all the Wizard World stuff and I haven't even started on that stuff which I don't know if I will this one's pretty cool um, I actually bought this one already slabbed um, too. Both of these I had these. I bought them the way they are. Of course, I didn't go to the uh, St. Louis Comic Con, unfortunately. But this is signed by Arthur Sudan. I think that's how you pronounce his name. You know, the Zombie King guy. So it's uh, pretty cool. It's signed down here. Um, very happy to have that 9.8. A lot of my Walking Dead stuff are 9.6, 9.8. So I think that's stuff. I was watching on eBay going off. This one is my Walking Dead from New York, uh, Wizard World New York, um, and this is by, the cover's done by Neil Adams, of course, and uh, it's not signed though. I still don't have a sketch cover of this, and I think if I ever do get it, I might um, have him sign it and get it graded. That one I'm fine with, it. I'm not going to bother getting him to sign it. This is, uh, I just got some random books I bought because of the price. Um, online and you know just trying to you know complete my collection of walking dead which i haven't completed but i got a lot i got a majority of the books there's there i'm missing a few well, i'm missing probably about 20 of them um, which isn't a few but um this one here i got for a really good price and already slabbed and, and it's actually signed by uh, tony moore and robert kirkman and i really paid probably about 25 30 dollars for this slabbed so when I see something like that, I just buy it, you know. A lot of the stuff I have from Walking Dead is raw, and I get them slab myself, but yeah, so I'm happy with that. And then, like I said, just, uh, I did the same thing with this. This is a 52 9.6. Already graded, so I got it because of the price. Um, and because I needed it, too. Now these, I actually got done by myself. I got slapped myself. So, this one here I had signed the Boston Comic Con. Um, I think it was the first year I went, uh, a couple years ago. This is the Ryan Otley uh, cover from 100, which is the first appearance of Negan and Lucille, also the death of Glenn. Um, but this is the Ryan Otley cover. Um, there's a lot of other ones in there series that are worth, worth a lot more than this one is, but um, this is the only one I had at the time from, and you know, I just really like the cover. Uh, so I had Ryan Otley sign it, pretty cool, 9.8. And then the same kind, this looks like a lot of this stuff is from Boston Comic Con I went to my first year. Um, this is Novo number one, this is a sketch variant that's had a sign by McGinnis, 9.6, which I, I was surprised because I thought it was going to be 9.8. And then this is when I got my, you know, Superman on chain stuff when it first came out. Um, I had this one signed by Scott Snyder and Dave Johnson. He did the cover, so he signed it to 9.8. Yeah, this is like a lot of this is the Boston Comic Con, my first year. Uh, this is another Superman on chain. This is I got this one signed by Scott Snyder and Neil Adams, um, which Neil Adams I believe did this one right here. Let me see. Yeah, I think that's him. Yeah, that's Neil Adams. He signed it right there in silver. Scott Snyder signed it in gold, which I wish I would keep it, you know, uniform, but oh well. Um, but 9.8, I have to put that. And then this was a nice one. Uh, I love the way this looks. This is the origin number two, the sketch variant. And I had it signed by Adam Kubert um, and 9.8. And I just think it looks so nice with that signature, the gold. Um, so you sign it down there if you guys can see that. Um, but yeah, it's, that's a cool, cool cover. The sketch cover is definitely better on the, or the black and white cover is definitely better on this one um, than the color one. And this is the first time I met um, Amanda Connor and Jimmy Palmiotti, which are, I think are some of the nicest people um, that I've met at the Comic Cons. Um, but I hadn't signed my Harley Quinn number one. This is a still regular cover, um, and Jimmy and Amanda both signed it. 
which I actually got a, you know, I can't wait till I get the ones back from this year's. I had them sign a bunch of books. So, and then I got my Superior Spider-Man, which I think is a pretty good series. I don't know. Um, but I had this, this was the uh, one cover done by, uh, like a 1 in 20 cover or something like that, done by uh, McGinnis. And he signed it. So, happy to have that 9.6. Push 9.8, of course, always, but hey, I'm happy with 9.6. Okay, last couple books. Well, give me a second so I can put these books back, some of these books back away. Uh, okay. So, the rest of these books, I got four more books from this box. So, it looks like I'm at 25 minutes already, so I might make two videos. Um, but this is a beautiful cover. Um, I just love this cover. Um, this was done, uh, this is Superior Spider-Man 27, um, and it's signed by Mark Brooks, who did the cover. Um, I just, you know, I, every time I see this cover, I'm just like, you know, in all, I guess, you know, it's a beautiful cover. Um, definitely, I think, one of the better covers that came out of Superior Spider-Man. Of course, this, except for my favorite one, which is the uh, J. Scott Campbell um, Black Cat one, which I'm getting great at right now. Um, but yeah, so, this is a cool one, too. And you guys know I'm an Avengers fan. This is the uh, Gangnam Sketch cover of Avengers number one. And it's signed by Mark Brooks also. So 9.8, happy with that. And then, I think this is the last one signed by Mark Brooks. Um, this is Avengers number three. The reason I got this one done is just because I like the cover. That's about the only reason. It was no significance to this book. You know, the other ones are number one, so that's why I got them done. But this one, I just like the cover so much, I wanted to have him sign that also. So yeah, 9.8, glad I did. Then the last book I have in this box is actually I bought it, it's graded already. Um, but you know I'm a huge revival fan. Definitely love this series. One of my favorite series. One of them. You know I, I have a number of series I I, I actually you know like currently. Um, that and Rachel Rising. But yeah, this is the revival number nine. Now this is the uh, comic book legal defense fund um, cover. Um, the CBLDF, the comic book legal defense fund. And it's actually signed by Tim Seeley and, Matt, and Mark, Mike Norton, so which is pretty cool. Um, very happy to have that. 9.8 also, and I, and if I'm, I, I didn't pay much for this one either. Um, I don't remember. I think maybe around 50 bucks, or 40 bucks, something like that, which is fine with me. And when these signatures like this, I'm fine with that. Plus, it's one of my favorite series too, so I'm um, happy to have that. So that's the first box. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make two videos so you guys can watch these at your leisure. <laughs> okay, I'll see you guys later. Next video.